Do you pick up your telephone? We can take some calls on 01811 Lee Kendall. Hello, Hello. Lee. Hello. Hello. Mm. You're through to Dennis. Okay. Hello, Did Lee. Did you think you'd be a singer when you were a little boy? Did I what? Did you think you'd be a singer when you were a little boy? I wanted to be, but I didn't know if I was going to be. I'm still not sure I am now. I'm trying just as hard now as I was when I was a little boy. Do you want to be a singer? Mm, yeah. You do? Yeah. You want to sing something now? There's your big chance. Here, I'll put you by the microphone. Come on. Let it, let it rock. Here. <laughs> no? Okay. Okay. Well, good luck. Just can I have a sing for you in the band? For my man. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm hope you become a singer. If you do, maybe I'll uh, join your band. Okay. Okay, okay. bye. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Right. And Donna Lloyd's on the phone. Donna? Hello? Hello, Donna. You're through to Dennis. Um... How did you get your mind, Dr. Hook? Uh, we just made it up. We didn't know what we would never knew we were gonna have to explain it and we just wanted to make it used to be Dr. Hook in the medicine show. Uh, and that you know what a medicine show is? <sighs> oh, well the old medicine shows in the United States would be when somebody used to roll up a wagon there and just do anything they can to attract attention and that's kind of what I'm doing now. Yeah. So but uh, thanks for asking. Could you say hello to my sister Ava and all my friends at Dorothy Barley to school place? Your sister what? Eve. Eve, hello Eve. Hi, and, and who else? And all my friends at Dorothy Barley School Play. Okay, and all your friends, and I, now they're all my friends. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Donna. Thank Thanks. you. Bye. Bye. I just had in my mind, th th was it not Dr. Hook's Medicine Chain Junk Band? No, no, that was, was Dr. That? West's Dr. Medicine West's Show. Medicine yeah, show there was band. so many medicine shows that we just canned the idea. Pretty healthy. Yeah. Uh, Amanda Mulholland's on the line. Hello, Amanda. Hello, Dennis. Yes, hi, Amanda. Well, you'll be coming back to Northern Ireland on tour, and if so, when? When we be coming where? Northern Ireland. Back to Northern Ireland to talk. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know why we didn't do it this year. I think it's because of the venue. We tried to get a hall and we couldn't get one. But if we can come next tour, we really will. All right. Well, would you say hello to Pauline and Melvin Goody from the place? Pauline and who? Melvin Goody. Melvin. Okay. Melvin? Pauline and Melvin Goody? Hi. Nice to right. see you. Thanks I don't much. really see you, but you okay. know what? You get the idea, right? Bye. 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 Bye-bye. And Simon Atkins on the line. Morning, Simon. Good morning, Simon. Hello. This is Dennis. How are you? Hi. What can I do for you? Um, have you got a new record coming out soon? Uh, we hope so. We haven't recorded one yet. We don't need, we're not even with a record label right now. We're not going to do anything real soon. But when we do, I hope you'll hear about it over and over and over again. Did you like any of the last ones? He hung up. He's gone. He's well, gone. Simon, well, I've never been so insulted in my entire <laughs> life. Oh, there you are. Did you like any of the last records? Yeah. <laughs> yes. A little yes, and he's gone. A little bit of yes. Why, why are you not... Hello? 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 Yes, who's this? This is his mum. Oh, oh, what happened to Simon? <laughs> <laughs> Did you make him call just so you could talk to me? Sorry? Did you make Simon call just so you could talk yes. to me? Yes, because I'm a great fan of yours. Well, what do you want to know? Do you want to ask me something? Um, do you ever meet any of your fans backstage at all? Ah, uh, yeah. Sometimes after the show will be coming out, there's usually a flock of them by the bus, and we spend a little time. Are you going to any of the shows? Yes, Oxford. In Oxford? Well, then yes. just be back by the bus, and I'll see you. Sorry? Just be back by the coach. Okay. Right, thank you. Okay. Uh, could you thank send you. your autograph at all, please? We'll, Can I we'll get that through to you. Yeah, your we'll autograph. get it to you by the bus. Just be by the coach, and I'll sign everybody. Right, okay. thank you very much. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, bye-bye. Sharon's on the line. Hello, Sharon. Hello. Hello, you're through to Dennis. Hello, Hi. Sharon. How are you? Hello, fine, thank you. Um, I was just wondering, actually, what is the next show business? Nothing. Nothing. I've been singing since I'm about 14, and before that, I just was sitting around like a lump. I didn't do anything. The only other jo honest job I ever had was I worked in my uncle's car wash when I was seven years old. But here's a tip. Never work for your uncle, because he finds excuses not to pay you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, Bye. Just quick. Sorry. Um, could you tell Tony to mend his puncture? Just, he'll know what I mean. Okay, Tony, puncture? Puncture. Okay, puncture, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. I think I said something right. obscene and I didn't mean to. <laughs> right. Well, you better... I know somebody called Carol who's a great fan of yours. You better just wave to Carol and say hi. Hi. Hi, Carol. Who is She's it? A great fan of yours. Okay. She's somebody that's a great... Just one of many great fans of yours. We'll be lying in state 
starting uh, <laughs> on the 19th of this m month to the 19th of next month. What I find extraordinary about Dr. Hook is that uh, it's always been so popular, and the songs, I mean, every so often you come up with a song that's really caught the public imagination. But uh, was it in 74 that you went, as a group, you went bankrupt? Yeah. And well, it started in 74, and we went all the way bankrupt. It took two years to reach those depths. And so in 1976, we had hit rock bottom. And I mean, we, what was it? Were you spending too much money? You really overspending? Well, we're a road band. I mean, we, this band was developed as a get on the road, and that's how we, uh, you know, that became my day job. I mean, just to be on the road, and uh, it takes a lot of money to stay on the road, especially when everybody has families, because you pay to lead two lives. You pay for hotels and all those things, and you keep sending money home. It's not like you tell your family, I'll be back in a few months, don't eat anything, you know. <laughs> so it, that's the whole thing. It just costs twice as much to live. And then when you were really uh, in the pits, as it were, you brought out an album called... Bankrupt. Bankrupt, yes. Which had on it the track um, Only Sixteen. Yes, and also The Millionaire, which confused a lot of people, including me. Yeah, and those, those songs actually sort of pulled you out of bankruptcy. Yeah, see, this country is the only country we're doing a, a farewell tour in. Because, I mean, in the United States, you know, it's, it's so big and so fickle that as soon as you have your last hit record... People just say next, they look for someone else. In the UK, they've always been very loyal, so I think it would have been rude for us not to come back and say goodbye. So this is the only place we're doing this. Would you say your greatest fans are in Britain? Then? I would say so, and not only because I'm here. I hate to say that, because wherever you're, you're, you go to a country, they say, how do you like it here? As if they're expecting you to say, oh, I hate this place. You know, but I mean, I really like it here because people have been personal to us. We haven't had a hit record or even a record label in two or three years, but people come back to the concerts, so that's flattering. And David Bailey is somebody who spends a lot of time in the States. In fact, we were just chatting a bit earlier, and David was saying that he watched uh, the lady who presents one of the uh, American breakfast programs grow old in front of his eyes, Jane Pauley. Is that what you said? Yeah, she's very attractive. But over the years, it's, I go back every four or five months, and she gets a bit older each time. It must be a terrible job, that. What are you always getting over to America for? Oh, different things. Just photographic assignments? Work. Yeah. So, I mean, what do you think of the American way of life? Do you like it or is it something you just like to go and visit? Well, I don't think you can talk about the American way of life. There's so many different Americas. There's, there's, um, there's Mexican America, there's Italian America, there's New York America, there's Los Angeles America, there's Miami America. All different. They're, they're all like separate countries. In fact, I know the world fairly well, but the biggest mystery to me is, is in between New York and Los Angeles. Completely different. How well, different? Well, I don't know what's there. I mean, it's a kind of... <laughs> mysterious land. It's much more mis mysterious to me than China. I mean, I know China, but I don't know that fast. Um, I mean, you probably know because you've toured it all, but, yeah, but you know, it's people... a mystery that between New York and... I only know New York and Los Angeles. There's nothing... All that in between is a mystery. But, you know, people in the middle of the country, um, the most of them have not been to New York or Los Angeles, and most of them don't want to go. People in the Midwest are afraid to go to New York because they think as soon as they get off the plane, they'll be robbed and killed. You know, and it usually takes five to ten minutes before they <laughs> <laughs> So it's nothing to worry about, really. And isn't it true as well, if you're on tour, I mean, you actually never see the, the real home life? You no, I, I look at photographs. I mean, especially, like, while I'm here, I'm hoping somebody in the band is outside taking pictures of something, and they flip them fast later, and I watch them move. You so know? you see the real life. Yeah. Like a sailor, really, aren't you? Yeah, especially since we've retired here. I'm like a retired sea captain. I wait for everybody to do this all the time, you know, I'm waiting for things to move. What about David? I mean, we were talking about Dennis uh, going on his farewell tour. What keeps you busy nowadays? Well, money, partly. <laughs> <laughs> making, making it. The search. Trying to make it, Looking yeah, the it. search for it, the quest, the holy grail. Uh, I mean, you just did this very interesting photographic assignment for Band-Aid. Uh, which is making money for Band-Aid. But, I mean, what keeps you busy most of the time? What sort of assignments? A Greenpeace. <laughs> but, uh, no, I, I split my life... This is going to be very boring. I split my life into three. One's commercial work, one's editorial work, and the other's the third party's work I do for myself. Mm. What sort of photographs do you like taking, then? Do you really enjoy I do it? lots of landscapes. I've just done a thing for the Welsh Arts Council, and I've just done landscapes of buildings and things like that. That was quite enjoyable. Mm. No money. No money. No money. <laughs> well, maybe, uh, maybe you'd say, Rich, you don't have to worry. I wish I was. <laughs>